the collective energy analysis for the week. Um, I did want to uh, point out too that these are kind of timeless. So you could use this like a pick a card reading um, now that I have enough uh, documented and recorded and posted. <clears throat> You guys could go to those and be like, I'm not sure what to work with and just intuitively pick a reading and then that will help you to kind of define maybe what's going on energetically. And um, with all my work, it's it's really about kind of plugging you back into spirit and your higher self so that you can self-navigate um, har harmoniously. So um, the more you practice and work with your intuition and then you try out those energy um, mastery, the meditations, the healings, etc., then the more you strengthen your intuition and that connection. Okay, so that's kind of the point of these. And now that there's more, you don't have to go by, go by week to week to week, but you can use your intuition with each uh, post. Okay, and you can go back and choose whatever feels right for you at that point in time if you want help um, navigating the energies. So this week we have, um, this is basically the common theme here, but they wanted me to read the 5D system. So people that are um, ready for shifting into the fifth dimension, that moving into the upgraded chakra system, grounding into the crystal core and connecting to the, um, the 5D grid. Okay, it's a different grid system and it helps you to harmonize with the Stargate, okay, with Stargate Ascension. So it's a higher frequency. It is outside of the reversal fields. So when you ground into this system, your body, your energy, your frequency starts harmonizing with the Stargate, and then you can acclimate from there. And you actually move into your galactic blueprint, galactic timeline, um, as well as... Uh, You move into your galactic blueprint, galactic timeline, as well as the upgraded chakra system, okay? So um, basically with you guys, your frequency is definitely high enough to make the shift into the 5D system. And so what they're recommending you do now is work with the Diamond Star Light Body activation that's in this space. All the activations are open. I used to have them closed. Now it's like if you do it and your frequency is not high enough, it's just not going to stabilize. So it'll be not a waste of time, but it's just not going to do what it needs to do. Your frequency has to be high enough for these certain structures to stabilize in your field. Okay, so there's the Diamond Star Light Body Activation you can work with, the Galactic Healing Transmission, and the Galactic Healing Activation. So the transmission actually um, attunes your energy and prepares your energy for the galactic healing activation. And that's when your um, energy system switches and uh, your chakras kind of drop down and you ground into the 5D crystal core and the new grid system. Okay, so those are the three things to work on this week. Um, and I think I said this already, you guys' frequencies at about a thousand kilohertz, um, you know, give or take, but you guys are definitely ready to move into the system. What I'm seeing is this, I'll show you the drawing, this energy where the cosmic diamond is really open, expanded, and then there's kind of this funnel. So you may feel really ungrounded, not sure how to ground, uh, not wanting to ground. Um, and like I said, this has been coming up. So this is the issue and this is how you can resolve it using opal quantum healing. Okay. So I hope that was helpful and we'll see you tomorrow.